Today we are testing two AMD's GPUs that might look similar on paper. Both have 16 gigabits of VRAM, but VRAM is not everything. But one costs around $420 and the other close to $600. This isn't just about price. We tested the RX 9060 XT and the RX 9070 across 16 games at 1440p using our custom high settings and we measured everything. Performance, power draw and efficiency. And of course, cost per frame. Oh, and by the way, since GPU prices change every week, we built a GPU value calculator just for you. Link is in the description, check which one makes sense right now. Before we jump into benchmarks, here's how we tested, because yeah, it matters. So we used the Ryzen 7 700X 3D Log2 consistent boost behavior, paired with 64GB of DDR5 RAM at 6000MHz. The test bench runs on an Asus ROG Gene X670E powered by 1000 Hydro G Pro PSU. No bottlenecks, just raw GPU performance. We use AMD driver version 2561 straight from the RX 9060XT reviews guide. And all games were tested in 1440p using our custom high settings, as we said. Why not Ultra? Because Ultra is mostly bloat. It tanks your FPS without adding meaningful visuals. We kept things clean. No DLSS, no FSR, no ray tracing, that's for another video. No way sync, no frame caps, no frame generation. FPS was measured using CapFrameX with 1% loss checked via MS between presents. For power and system metrics, we used MSI Afterburner combined with HW Info, the good stuff. Let's dive into the real tests. Returner is fast and chaotic and punishes weak GPUs. And here, the RX 9070 pulls ahead with 146 FPS compared to the RX 9060 XT at 194 FPS. That's clear 52 difference, not just smoother but meaningful faster for this kind of gameplay. Civilization 7. This one's about turn speed and UI fluidity, not explosions. The 9070 lands at 251 FPS while the RX 9060 XT runs at 162. It's a big gap, but in this type of game both cards will feel snappy. The win goes to 9070, but the benefit might be harder to notice. Remnant 2, a more modest difference here, 118 FPS on the RX 9070 versus 86 FPS on the 9060 XT. The 9070 still wins, but this is a good example of how the cheaper card still holds solid 60 plus gameplay, especially for GPU heavy title like this. F124 racing games love fast harder, and here the RX 9070 crashes with 257 FPS, while 96 XT still manages a very respectable 204 FPS. Both are perfect for high refresh game, but if you're on 240 Hz monitor, the 9070 gives you a full lap ahead. Assassin's Creed. Mirage rewards raw throughput and the RX 9070 delivers 173 FPS while the RX 9060 XT clocks in at 120 FPS. A 53 lead in open world traversal is significant, especially for those who love fluid camera movements. If you think this is just about big wins, wait, some of the next titles tell a different story. Stalker 2, atmospheric, demanding and still not optimized. RX 9070 pushes 74 FPS while RX 9060 XT lands at 50 FPS. Both are technically playable, but 9070 avoids these under 60 drops that can ruin immersion. God of War Ragnarok. This game leans hard on consistency. The 9070 lands at 169 FPS while the 9060 XT puts out 105 FPS. That's 64 between them, a major bump in headroom for effects heavy movements. Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster. Here we see 160 FPS on the 9070 and 112 FPS on the 9060 XT. Both cards perform well, but if you're aiming for max smoothness in a sprawling world, that extra 48 FPS helps more than you think. Dragon Age Wildguard. In this early build, the 9070 gets 150 FPS, while the 9060 XT pulls 74 FPS. Not a full disaster for the cheaper car, but 9070 keeps it above 100, which means room for frame pacing stability. 
Cyberpunk 2077. Even without ray tracing, Cyberpunk is tough. The 9070 clocks 158 FPS compared to 103 FPS on the 9060 XT. That's a big enough gap that we will feel in every driving scene, shooting or dance city area. Marvel Rivals in this light competitive title, the 9070 hits 123 FPS while the 9060 XT holds 81 FPS. If you're going for high refresh and fast inputs, that 40 plus FPS lead can make a real difference. Black Meat Wukong. Now, this one's heavy visually and technically. RX 9070 delivers 73 FPS, while RX 9060 XT struggles a bit more at 47 FPS. Not unplayable on the XT, but you will definitely need to dial things back if you want smoother gameplay here. Ok, still guessing who the winner is. We are not done yet and the FPS is not everything. Callisto's visual fidelity demands power and 9070 responds with 179 FPS, while the 9060 XT holds with 118 FPS. Playable on both cards, but smoother camera movement and reduced input lag go to the higher number. Total War Warhammer 3 in massive battles, the RX 9070 hits 144 FPS, while 9060 XT sits at 85 FPS. The extra headroom can make RB movement and UI feel less sluggish when you're zoomed out in mid fight. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, George's and Brutal. The 9070 lands 90 FPS, while the 9060 XT struggles at 57 FPS. This is a perfect example of a game where the visual density forces the gap even wider. Hogwarts Legacy last but not least. RX 9070 scores 136 FPS and RX 9060 XT pulls 82. Not a huge surprise here, but enough of lead to keep the 9070 comfortably ahead in frame pacing. You have seen numbers, but your performance is just the beginning. Next, let's talk Power Draw and then we'll show you the full story average FPS. So, we have seen frame rates, but now it's time to talk about power. Across all 16 games, the RX 9070 pulled out an average 227 watts, the RX 9060 XT was much lower, just 173 watts. That's 54 watt difference. More power means more heat, louder pants, and a higher energy bill, but does it at least pay off in efficiency? Let's break it down. RX 9070 delivered 1.58 uh, FPS per watt, the RX 9060 XT 1.75 FPS per watt. So even though it's slower overall, the 9060 XT is actually more efficient, getting you more frames for every single watt of power used. But before you make up your mind, let's reveal the final metric, the one everyone skips ahead to. Average FPS. But just not yet. Okay, just kidding. Alright, time to talk about averages. But instead of just drawing a bar graph on screen, let's break it down properly. In Returnal, the RX 9070 was 55% faster than RX 9060 XT. In Callisto Protocol, the gap was over 50%. In Cyberpunk 2077, we saw a jump of nearly 53 FPS. In Mario Levels, the 9070 was again 52% ahead. These are the heavy hitters, games where raw horsepower dominates. But not every title was a blowout. In Raven 2, the 9070 was just 37% ahead, in Stalker 2, the difference dropped to less than 33. So, now you have all the data. Time to make a decision, or better yet, let our GPU calculator do it for you. I'm not getting to tell you which GPU is better for you, because performance you have just seen all 16 games. Efficiency, we gave you the numbers. Power draw, check mark. And now the decision is up to you. We built our own GPU value calculator, it lets you compare not just these two cards, but dozen of GPUs in our tests. You can choose your resolution, your country, your ray tracing settings, yes or no, and it's calculate the real world value based on your market, not just MSRP. I have been roasted in the past for favoring one side. So now, you have the data, you have the numbers, and you have the tool. All I ask, use it. Link is in the description and no, I'm not paid by AMD or NVIDIA, you decide.